Hi there, it's Iluha, and today I'm going to tell you about devices what I'm using in AWS simulators. I'm using pedals and joystick, what were designed by my friend Victor Musulmanin. You can see how it looks on video. I merely have montaged all it on a special platform, what I had welded early in my garage. First of all, let's start talking about joystick. It just stick with medium length of handle. It's more convenient variant to me, because stick is not so long and not so short. Very comfortable to use. I received with joystick kit at configuration what you can see in photographs. Kit includes base, cables and extension for handle. All details were made for metal. Mechanics is based on bearings and looks very reliable. If you want to know about her more, you can follow the link in the right upper corner of the screen. How about the assembly process? Victor has already adjusted all details and I put it together with ease. Actually, you don't need special skills to do it. In this joystick I decided to use the handle for my old Cobra M5. I drilled two holes and fixed her on the bolts. The main base you can fix using four holes, but I used only two of them. Also, base has a spare socket to plug pedals. In this case, joystick and pedals would have a mutual controller. But I used our controller cable of pedals to plug them in my PC and did not use that opportunity. Couple of words about handle. I wrapped here using a piece of artificial skin to more comfortable grabbing. And relocate it with standard twist resistor to position for my farm. Also, you can see the dust cover what is included in the package. Ok, go ahead. For travel control I am using my first joystick. It's Speedlink Black Widow and I am just using total lever and buttons without using his main handle. This device has not something special and I will not mention him anymore. Ok, let's gonna talk about the pedals. Victor told me what when he designed the model, he was been inspired by pedals of P-39 Air Cobra of famous Russian ace Alexander Pokrishkin. Pedals fixing to surface on four balls and have three axes, two of them for brakes and one to the rudder. These pedals necessarily require hard fixation to surface, otherwise they will be moved when you are using them. In these photos you can see how the pedals looked when I received them. Pedals, actually, are very large, height is 35 cm and width about 50. To stand them you have to enough free space under the table. In this scene you can see the pedals bottom side and how it works for mechanical details. 
and cables and control allocation. Also, you can see for holes with threads for fixation. Ok, let's watch a demonstration of pedals work. We have some modes of control. It is basic mode for other control, the next one is using brake and treadles. I must notice here that springs of brake and treadles are really hard and you should push them with significant effort. Now you can see combined mode with simultaneous using rudder and braking. And finally, basic mode what we will use at VSRT. Pedals in this position are really soft and very comfortable in pushing. The stroke of pedals is equal to 10 cm, but I swear it's enough to make good aiming. How about the stroke of a joystick handle? His length for stroke of the elevator axis is a little bit longer than the stroke of the ailerons axis. It is made specially to prevent a strike of a handle about your ties, and it really works well. Well, now let's check joystick accuracy. Unfortunately, before this test I did not fly a long time and my movements can will look a little bit clumsy. Now you can see a standard spiral test. And one more time else. Ok, go ahead and let's try to draw something. For example, it could be a couple of dinosaurs. And small test in WikiB Geotester. Just look how it works in high part and in low part of schedule. Test of aileron axis.
As you can see, accuracy looks superb. And returning to the center works really well too. Ok, let's go into pedals test. At first move in one pedal, then next one, and finally using both. Stock of pedals is short, but it's enough for good aiming. Small test of breaking three dogs. Right. And then left. The springs are really strong and you must push on treadles hard enough to have an effect. Rudder pedals contrary have a very softness in the pushing. And finally pushing on rudder pedals. At first using one, then next one, and then using both simultaneously. At the end, I can conclude what pedals works very precisely. Now a couple of words about software support. You can use MMJ2 for set your devices. At first, you choose your language. Then push load sets from devices button. And after that's all, you have direct access for all values of your joystick. These manipulations are not necessary, because Victor already have set all curves and values. I just want to say what you can change them if you would be to want. I forgot to mention what you else can be setting any buttons on your devices. Afterwards, you just use save sets to device button and that's all what you need. At this moment I want to end my review and I'm thinking what I show it all the most important details for you. And now the main question, how to connect with Victor? I will give you some links. First, it's his page in Russia's social network. Next one is his YouTube channel, where you can see much more videos about his devices for other simulators and ask any questions in the comment section. Third link would be on Victor's Discord address for direct messages. By the way, Victor asked me to mention his new goods. He developed a new metal mechanic for Kuga joystick. You can insert her instead of original and she will be works well with native joystick controller. Also you can find a link on his video in description. That's all my friends, if you want you can follow me in social networks, Twitch and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Have a good one and see ya!